Okay, so I got the Protect on screen protector for the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut the tape. There we go. And there we go. So in here we have our tempered glass screen protector, a instruction manual, and oh, I love it when they include this, a frame to put your device in and so you actually align it perfectly, which I love that they include that. And here is the screen protector. It is flexible, but still durable. And we also have, it just looks like a piece of foam, and something to get the air bubbles out with. And we also, looks like screen cleaner wipes, microfiber cloth, and a dust sticker. So I'm going to go ahead and look through everything, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is open the little bag. Okay. And let's see, I'm going to do this first. That will give this a peel. Okay, very nice peel. I'm going to go ahead, actually, oops. first I'm going to power off my phone. There we go, oops. Hit power off. So I'm going to go ahead and power this off. And then while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take this out and just wipe the screen. Okay, <laughs> my watch is resident. The phone is in fact off. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit it down with the microfiber cloth. And just so you guys know, I have not had a screen protector on this device ever since I bought it two months ago. And it has picked up a fair amount of minor micro scratches. Nothing to be really worried about, but I would definitely recommend picking up a screen protector just for peace of mind. So here is the dust sticker, and I'm going to go ahead and once I find where to peel i will give this a peel here it is very satisfying The previous problem that I made with installing my screen protector on the iPhone 14 Pro Max was I got a dog hair, oops, a dog hair in the phone, like underneath the phone. So that was kind of a letdown, but I mean, hey, what are you going to do? So looks like I'm going to place this in here somehow some way hmm i just got the screen all dirty okay i'll figure out how to get this in then i'll be right back okay so just so you guys know you put this on underneath not on top so i'm gonna go ahead and i just wiped it down with microfiber cloth again and i am just going to hit it down with this dust sticker Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab this green protector, take it out of this little bag, and then I'm going to go ahead and give this a peel. The moment of truth. Ah. This is always very nerve wracking when you're doing this. Put it on the top. But again, I am so 
happy that they included a little tray to put your phone in. I can't say how helpful that actually is. So, where did I put that? They included this little thing to just push out all the bubbles. Oh, get that piece out of the way. Just go ahead and push out all the bubbles. Go ahead and give this a peel. Very satisfying. Okay. Gonna go ahead and work all the remaining air bubbles out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and got all the bubbles out. And as you can see, there's still a few and it looks like there's scratches on there, but there really isn't. And just keep in mind, this is not a tempered, like a real tempered glass screen protector. This is a hybrid screen protector. So for the first two hours, I would say maybe, honestly, maybe do it at night. It'd be safer. And then let the phone sit overnight um, just to let it harden kind of to the phone which is your best bet, and so you don't, like, scratch it or anything, which would be really bad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, it, I mean, everything looks fine. Fingernails don't dent it, which I had that problem. Let's see, screen still works. Wait for it to turn on. And just so you guys know, that is a part of the picture in the corner. That is not the screen. If I swipe down, you can see there's nothing wrong with it. I just thought I'd mention that so none of you guys got worried. Let's check the ultra, ultra, whoa, sorry, I can't speak. Let's check the ultrasonic frequency sensor. Still just as fast. If you actually put your thumb on there. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm putting it in the wrong spot. Let me re-enter my fingerprint. I think I'm getting in the wrong spot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to add my fingerprint again. Just put in my password. Add fingerprint. Okay, hit register. Okay, so perfect. It's saying there's no nothing wrong with the print scanner. Um, sometimes, like, when it says that it's not fully on, that just means because it is not fully on. And, yeah, I don't think you can do tips now. Perfect. So another thing is to, when you install really honestly any screen protector on a Samsung phone, um, sadly Apple does not have this feature, what you're going to do is going to display and turn on touch sensitivity. It just helps it in case you do get like a thick screen protector and maybe it wouldn't pick it up as well. But honestly, you'd be pretty good. But just to be safe, have that on. So let's go ahead and try that fingerprint. There we go. Try that again. First try. Okay, so it's still as fast as it is before, or as it was before. Um, so honestly, I would definitely recommend it. Obviously, it looks really bad now, but if you stick around, I will post a video. Uh, sorry, I'll post a picture tomorrow on my YouTube channel and show you guys the result that all the bubbles went down and those are fingerprints, like kind of smudges. Those are not on the. That's not a part of the screen protector. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And like I said earlier, or just a few seconds ago, I will be posting a picture of this phone tomorrow to show you guys how all the bubbles cleared out by themselves. So please consider subscribing and checking my channel for that. And I will catch you in my next video. See you then. <laughs>
Thank you.